we're gonna focus on those basic bolt-on modifications that can get you up into that 500 to 550 wheel horsepower range. Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we're talking about performance modifications and upgrades for Audi's 3.0T supercharged V6. The 3.0T was used from 2010 through 2017, and because it features a supercharger, that means it is very responsive to tuning and bolt-on performance upgrades. These engines can produce some pretty strong power levels with just a couple basic bolt-on modifications, so that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Before we jump into the mod list, let's talk just briefly about power levels of the 3.0 supercharged V6. These engines completely stock will dyno somewhere from 280 to 300 wheel horsepower, but these engines can actually handle quite a bit more power than that. The safe limit is about 500 to 550 wheel horsepower on pump gas, but the primary limitation with these engines comes from torque and also from the transmission. So your torque is gonna be limited to about 450 to 500 wheel torque, and the transmission is likely going to start to be the limiting factor before we can even get to those torque levels to begin with. Now, these numbers that I'm talking about here are running pump gas. The 3.0 supercharged V6 can run very small ethanol blends, but to run heavy ethanol blends or to run full E85, it's gonna require a lot of money to be spent on fueling upgrades. But generally speaking, E85 alone can usually unlock 50 plus wheel horsepower out of forced induction engines. So it is something to look into down the line or if you're really trying to max out the stock setup. But because fueling upgrades take us into a whole nother category of modification, and costs for doing so, we're gonna focus on those basic bolt-on modifications that can get you up into that 500 to 550 wheel horsepower range. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into modifications. First thing on the list is gonna be ECU tuning. ECU tuning actually isn't where the biggest power gains come from on a supercharged engine. It usually is for most other engines, but in this one, that isn't quite the case, but it still is gonna be something that's required for all of the other modifications on this list. And of course, tuning is something that you absolutely need when you're trying to add tons of power to an engine to make sure that it's optimized and running efficiently to maximize power gains. Tuning will get you somewhere in the ballpark of 50 to 80 wheel horsepower gains with no other modifications, but but it's essential for everything else that's here on this list. And if you have the ZF DSG transmission, you should definitely look into transmission tuning because like I mentioned, the transmissions are gonna be one of the biggest power limiters from a torque standpoint. And so you'll wanna make sure you have transmission tuning to be able to handle the torque that we're gonna be producing with all of these modifications. Second on our list is gonna be the biggest power adder you can do for these engines, and that is upgraded pulleys. You've got two options here. You can do a single pulley upgrade or you can do dual pulley upgrades. A single pulley upgrade will get you about 80 to 100 wheel horsepower, whereas doing a dual pulley setup can get you upwards of about 150 wheel horsepower. So the pulley setups are where the big power gains are gonna come from because this is a supercharged engine. Now, once we do tuning and pulleys, we're gonna be producing a lot more heat. And so the third modification on our list is gonna be an upgrade heat exchanger. The heat exchanger will help provide more consistent performance and lower the intake air temperatures, creating a healthier and more reliable engine, but also one that isn't subjected to heat soak. And so ultimately a heat exchanger is worth it for the more consistent performance you get, but it's also a great reliability modification because we wanna do whatever we can to reduce heat being produced from the engine. Fourth on our list after a heat exchanger is gonna be an upgraded intake system. Now intakes aren't huge power adders or extremely important but it is helpful to bring extra airflow into the engine. An upgraded intake is just gonna help optimize the overall efficiency of the engine, of the supercharger, and the tuning. And so even though you're looking at probably only getting five to 10 wheel horsepower gains out of it, it's definitely something just to help optimize and improve the efficiency of the engine. Fifth on our list is gonna be opting for high flow cats or going catless with test pipes. Depending on which route you go here, you're looking at about 10 to 20 wheel horsepower of power gain but it will help reduce back pressure within the exhaust system, which is where the power gains come from. It also will help reduce the amount of heat that's getting trapped in the engine. So it is good for heat reduction as well. Six on our list is a larger throttle body. 
Now this is more important for people that are running more boost from their turbochargers. The more aggressive your tuning is, the more important it is to upgrade the throttle body just to help bring additional airflow into the engine as well. Opting for a larger throttle body on a high boost setup is good for about 10 to 15 wheel horsepower. If you are running lower boost levels and producing less overall power, then you're gonna see less benefits from a throttle body. But if you're looking to max out your engine and really push the upper limits, then this is definitely a worthwhile model. Modification. That covers it for our basic bolt-on modifications. There were six total things on the list there, but the majority of the power gains are really gonna come from tuning and pulleys. And so those are the most important things to figure out for your setup, whether you wanna go for a single or a dual pulley and what tuning you're gonna do, transmission tuning, of course, as well. All the other modifications on this list are things just to help optimize the engine and the efficiency of the supercharger to give you a healthier engine, a more reliable engine, and one that's running cooler. So all that said, let's go ahead and talk about some power levels based on the modifications that you do. If you take these engines and you just throw basic tuning on it, you can get around 360 to 390 wheel horsepower, and you'll likely be on the lower end of that unless you opt for or more aggressive tuning. If you go for a single pulley setup, we're looking at about 400 to 425 wheel horsepower. A dual pulley setup is what's gonna get you in the 450 to 500 plus wheel horsepower range. And of course, all of these supporting modifications are what are gonna help get you there. To really push beyond that 500 plus level, you're gonna be limited by the transmission, your torque output. If you do wanna push beyond these power numbers that I've talked about, fueling upgrades and E85 are gonna be a good way to get there. And that wraps it up, guys. That's all the modifications that I would consider to be standard bolt-on mods for the 3.0T supercharged V6. If you guys appreciate this video, please click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all our future Audi content.